So my question was, is I took a hard landing, and as you can see, you got a little small crack there and a crack here. I got these small, really small um, nozzles here, which I love. I need to find where these are at, because um, I have buy literally a, a crap ton of them. Got these guys, and I've got these guys. And putting them on my little foam tack <coughs> makes it awesome because I can really, without having to cause any more damage, can really get in there and and get some glue in. Um, this is actually, I had to just stuff the nozzle in there, so I had to make a hole, a uh, small hole, because I didn't know if this was a crack or this was just like a, an actual crack or just stress, right? But here and here proved to be that, yes, that was actual crack because it went up here and you, the foam from the hinge was moving around. So, in question, right, from that hard landing is do you see how, let me see, you see how that moves? It's just a little bit of force. This side doesn't do it. However, all of this is solid versus, if you can see down in there is not. And that's because you gotta have a way for your um, steering linkages to move. So I get it. <clears throat> um, this is actually has tightened up. Um, you can see I've got a popsicle stick in there to give some added uh, rigidity there. It's probably not going to do nothing, but it's it's something. There's another one down in there I was trying to show you. Um, I was considering painting those, but you, you can't see it. Um, I did paint that one, and then I had to cut it a little bit more so it doesn't interfere with the uh, with the gear door. But oh, and then that's for my for my daggone um, stand. But I love this, this is a great trainer. Um, got other jets here and then there. Um, I did have an F4, but I keep having issues issues with them. Um, me and my dad have keep having issues. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Another story for another day. And then I got my A10. Um, I got another set of tires for it, wheels. Because it had they, the two mains have um, flat spots, and in the front I've got the trailing link, so it just sits over there, and I'll work on it as I get time. But that's all we really wanted to know. But this is this is tightened up um, a good bit. So yeah, guys, whatever your thoughts are, um, I just like somebody to compare it because again, it was it was a hard landing on um, it was about anywhere between three to five feet up. And it, it went down like vertical uh, because the wind just stopped. And I was trying to get it down as quick as I could while the wind was still giving me lift. <clears throat> but, you know, it's one of those things. And you don't learn how to fly in wind unless you actually go and fly in wind. So it's a double-edged sword. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. But thanks, guys. Bye.